What is up guys, today is Saturday, November 11th, 2023. Happy Saturday, everyone. And I'm back with another box opening and product review. So uh, I know I'm a few months late, but this is 2022 slash 23 Tops from Bundesliga Soccer. And this is a hobby box, which is the only format that it is offered in this year. It is a fifth year product um, starting from 2018 all the way until now. And well, the print run is a lot larger than it used to be, but it is a good continuation of last year, considering that the highest parallel is still out of 299. So um, this box I purchased for $39 just about a week or so ago, and uh, figured it's actually not bad value considering it's 20 packs per box and four cards per pack with one autograph guaranteed. And there are no other guarantees apart from uh, a case hit insert, and there's also an insert that is a half case hit, so two per case. And uh, there are some young players to look for, 100 card base set checklist, uh, 95 of which are available in uh, autograph format, and there's also insert autos and five different inserts, including the short printed ones. So, uh, yeah, Bundesliga, Bundesliga Chrome is a staple, I would say, of modern soccer collecting now. Um, really, since 2020 slash 21, uh, when that released a bit over two years ago, it has gone downhill since then. And uh, well, at least the prices have also gone down four boxes, along with the print run going up. And now it is a lot more affordable, but hopefully we can get a, let's say, numbered auto, an insert auto or a numbered numbered base auto with the parallel form would be cool. And uh, the numbered autos are out of 165 or less, starting with the prism parallel. And uh, no odds, which is basically this year's theme with Topps Chrome products, and just all Topps products in general. So without further ado, let's get into this hobby box. All right, so we start with Vagnamon and an airborne insert of Felix Udakai. Just put the inserts on the side there, Schick and Luca Nets. Uh, to be honest, I think the design this year looks pretty good, actually. Um, last year's design wasn't bad either, but this is a uh, refreshing change. And I think that it has pretty good photography on top of that. So Kaminsky, and then another airborne, this time of Nicholas Sula, Sir Demir and Doki rookie. So the 100 card checklist is pretty small, um, most of which are going to be veteran players. Haraguchi, Riemann, Refractor, uh, Juke Rookie, and Vincenzo Grifo. And the other good thing about this year is that they got rid of light, because Hobby Light is honestly just a waste of waste of print run, waste of base, and waste of space. So we got Kevin Shade, Ongzar Nauf, Danny Olmo, and Kachi in that pack, so that was a base pack right there. have Barisha, Adam Polshek, Refractor, Mino Rookie, and Ola Becker Rookie. So yeah, I think I'm just hoping for a numbered autograph um, as usual. Numbered autos are basically all I chase from products like these. Angelo Stiller, and nice Flash of Genius insert for Giorgino Ruder, and then Kevin Trapp and Kareem Adeyemi base cards. It'd be cool for me to pull a Musiala auto. I am chasing his autograph because I never actually held him before. Uh, Mavropanos now in West Ham. And Borges Sanchez, rookie refractor. Schmidt and John Joe Kenny, the former Evertonian. And I'm starting to see a theme with the way that these packs tear. All right, looks like we have the auto in this pack. Ruben Vargas and Josco Gavardiol. And Paul Vonner on the front. All right, let's reveal the auto. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Well, we've revealed the name. It is Marco Friedel, and it has a pretty noticeable ding on there on the surface, unfortunately. It looks like a, a machine or something must have struck it, but uh, it is a numbered auto. Nice. Five out of 75. I will definitely take that. Um, it is going to be the pink parallel out of 75, so uh, definitely not gradable. Marco Friedel. But it is a numbered auto, and that is what I was hoping for. So I'll put that right there. And uh, hopefully we can get some more lower numbered cards. I think an auto out of 75 is pretty good, to be honest, from a, uh, a product with a lot of higher numbered and also just really unnumbered autos. Uh, Gio Reyna, Eric Martel, Bright Future, Insert, and then Neuhaus and Delict. So the two short printed inserts are Wonders of Bundesliga, which is a case hit, and Top 11, uh, which is a half case hit. Uh, Sharehunt rookie, and nice, we have a Osterhog rookie. This is numbered 56 out of 250, and this is known as the X-Factor parallel. 
uh, which has not been seen in a lot of products recently. So it's nice that they brought it back. And X-Factors, well, say like 10 years ago, uh, were not numbered in the products that they were featured in. More like a, uh, a rarer refractor, I would say. 2-2. Two -two. And Bright Future, Borges Sanchez, Rookie Base Insert, Scali, and Alfonso Davies. So, so far, even though we're not done with the opening, I can definitely already recommend this. Um, Stack, Bright Future, Sharehunt, a Viper, and Ikatura, which looks like a parallel, but it's not. It's just the pink haze in the background. Um, because if you can even get this for, say, $30 to $35, definitely pretty solid value for a hobby box rip, including auto. Florian Verts, and nice, we have a Kevin Trapp, top 11. So that is a half-case hit insert. So this one is definitely worth sleeving. I'll put that next to the base ones. But what does have me a tiny bit worried is the lack of numbered cards. Um, or I shouldn't speak yet if we do get one. Bino Gittins, and nice, Flash of Genius. I like the look at that, Vincenzo Grifo. The captain for Freiburg, and uh, uh, Castanaris and Arnold. Martel, and then Tarod for Schalke, Refractor. And we come down to the last five or six packs. We have Wuyong Jung, Dejan Lubicic, Refractor. Kolomoani and Jude Bellium. And of course, Kolomoani is a rookie who's 27, I believe, in this product. So not ideal seeing 27-year-old rookies, but again, Tops has never featured him. Sebastian Poulter and Lucas Toussart. This one looks like an Aqua Wave, 239 out of 275. Doan and uh, Ostjan. And this is actually the Aqua Bubble Wave, not just an Aqua Wave because you have bubbles in the back. So Bubbles were once their own thing, Wave was once its own thing, and I guess Aqua is its own thing. But then Topps decided to combine all three and say, why not let's make a Aqua Bubble Wave parallel. So it looks like Lucas Tussar is underwater. Uh, Nkunku, uh, Burkhart, Agu, and Asano. And uh, yeah, this is kind of annoying, the packs tearing down the middle, the flap. Nemecha, Sadio Mane Refractor. Mukoko and Jamie Llewellyn to finish that pack off. And the last pack is going to be Mathis Tell, Zidane Sertemir, Refractor, Tussart, and So. Oh, and one more thing that I like is that the uh, the hit of the pack is not at the back, so this way you don't accidentally spoil it. Um, Aus uh, Augustine Rogel and Geraldo Becker, uh, 281 out of 299. This is just the purple. Arne Meyer and Musa Diaby. So that is the 2022-23 fairly new Bundesliga Chrome Hobby Box, and at $39 was not a bad buy. So here are the inserts. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven base inserts, and an eighth insert being the half-case hit top 11, which looks really cool with the rainbow, uh, rainbow flames or whatever in the back. And then in terms of the refractors, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven refractors from 20 packs. So roughly one in three packs. Uh, and then the good stuff, I guess. I'll leave this in the frame of the good stuff. Geraldo Becker, purple, numbered 281 out of 299 for Union Berlin. Lucas Tussar, aqua wave bubbles, 239 out of 275. Here at the Berlin. And Patrick Osterhog, rookie X-Fractor, numbered 56 out of 250. So um, three numbered cards, all between 250 and 299. So... That kind of tells you a lot right there on its own. And the autograph, well, Marco Friedel is a numbered auto. It is a pink 5 out of 75, but with a nasty little ding on the front. So uh, if there's any product you don't want a ding on the front, it is chrome because it is extremely noticeable. But at least the auto is on sticker and is a nice looking card. So I'll just toss this right in the PC. And yeah, that is my review and personal hobby box of this year's Bundesliga Chrome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.